Why do you want other people's experiences? See, they'll give you the right path to follow in order to have their experience, but don't you want your own? It might not look so neat and clean and down the well-trodden path as everyone else's. It might be messy and dirty and you might be hungry, but it's yours. It's what your gut's telling you to do. It's what your heart's telling you to do. There is a magnificent intelligence in the body, but the subconscious mind lies in the peripheral nervous system. It's a part of your mind that beats your heart and digests your food without you thinking about it. This brain doesn't do all that. And you know when they say that you only use about 5% of your brain? It's because you're just using this one. Start to feel your body. Yo, there's something you gotta understand about training. It is not just the body that's at work. There's an integration of mind, spirit, and body at play. There's a threshold that you have to cross in order to access the power of the mind and the spirit in your training. Lifting barbells isn't just lifting fucking barbells. Lifting barbells is a transformative process that makes you a stronger person than yourself instantly if you cross this threshold. Do the thing you're afraid to do. Do it. It's not about feeling confident about going into the situation. It's not about knowing that it's going to work out. It's not about having the most detailed plan for how this thing will happen. It's about doing it. Courage. You've got, courage is what you will experience and what you will grow when the doubt is there, but you do it anyway. So your problem isn't doubt. Your problem is courage. Don't be afraid to fail. Get out there and do it. My invitation is always go and experience life instead of reading about it. Go and experience life instead of asking someone else to tell you how to live life. Go out there and fail. Go out there and scrape your knees. Go out there and do the wrong thing. That way you now have an experience that acts as a tool to support you in the building of your life. Sleep, 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 sleep. Do something, kid. Get up, clean, pick up your toys, make a sandwich. Do something useful, right? That's the mindset. Do something useful with yourself. All you're doing is sleeping. The point is that you do not have to abide by the rules and ideas of other people on what they believe education is. To go to a university and spend tens of thousands of dollars to, su to study shit that you probably will never use and you definitely don't care about is a waste, even more so if you're going into debt for it. studying to this day, reading, philosophizing, considering all of the great work done by people like Ralph Waldo Emerson. Take a deep breath. Several deep breaths if you can. Lower your voice. The lower you can, the, you can bring your voice down, the more of your grounding you're going to access more manly and in control you will be. Get down, get down here. Down into your belly, down into your ball. 